new rescue clubs from TaylorMade. This is the TaylorMade QI10 family of rescue clubs. Today, we have Mr. Kevin Kraft here to swing and hit some shots, and we have Trackman ready here in the Tour Van Bay to help us learn all about the TaylorMade QI10 rescue club. Golfers, make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. If you like this video, and then tell us in the comments your thoughts on the TaylorMade QI10 rescues. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf, joined here today by Kevin Kraft to review the TaylorMade QI10 Rescue Clubs. And there's three of them. So I like that there's a lot of options here. There are there's definitely some options Because, here. you know, I, I think we're learning more and more that rescue or hybrid clubs are not just for high handicap players. They're mm -hmm. not just for mid handicap players. They're also not just for the low handicap player. You have two hybrids in your bag. I do. Um, and you are a fantastic, phenomenal player in the top zero 0.0001% too kind. golfers. So um, hybrids and rescues are, are a very valuable club to have or clubs to have yeah. in the bag. So TaylorMade having three options is very cool. And I actually see a scenario where someone might have a QI10 Max and a QI10 or vice versa. Yeah. So um, what do you see first, Kevin? I want to get your opinion on what you see first when you look at these three rescue models. Very distinct heads. Uh, and they're all very different, aren't they? Yeah, the the Max is a much larger head. Mm -hmm. The standard QI10 is more what we've seen traditionally, uh, standard-wise mm -hmm. from uh, from TaylorMade. And then the the Tour head is more compact, has the adjustability. Uh, we've had a version of that, you know, each yeah. each generation. So, um, yeah, you know, sometimes the better the better player looks for something that's a little more compact. Yep. Um, yeah, so there's there's a, a new one for them too. Yeah, so um, starting with the Max and I guess the standard as well, you get kind of a, a combination of similar technologies. There's a carbon crown that helps with um, also some alignment too. You got that same kind of stripe along the leading edge. Yep. You can see a little bit, it's a little bit shinier on yep. the, the Max and the standard. It's actually very pretty. Um, you also get similar technologies that have been in past metals. The V-Steel is you know, that made a resurgence back a few years, I think it was a Sim lines where you mm -hmm. saw that first come back this back here again today also the through slot speed pocket there yep. which helps on those low uh, miss hits also of note the max rescue is available in a seven hybrid at, or at 35 degrees Ooh, so that's nice. a very high that's launching good. high loft option that i know a lot of golfers will appreciate more options for those who benefit from mm -hmm. the versatility of hybrids yes absolutely yeah. and and then uh the the tour the QI10 Tour is a very kind of different shape and build here, as we yes. talked about, a deep face profile, very compact and workable mm -hmm. as well. And then as you mentioned the adjustable loft sleeve can toy around with, um, you know, making sure the loft and launch conditions are, are yep. exactly what you need. Um, this one is only available in three options, a two hybrid, three hybrid, and a four hybrid. So, um, but the other ones, there's a lot more options. So that's where I kind of mentioned you could have multiple sure. of these in the bag if it works out. So, Absolutely. Um, I think I'm going to be most curious to see the differences in how the ball launches between these three. We have a three yeah. hybrid in the Tour, four in the Two Max, fours. and the Standard. Yep. So, um, do you have any predictions for how those might differ? Um, I'm guessing the the Max may launch a little bit higher in the mm -hmm. in the four, even though they're the same loft. They're both, or no, sorry, uh, the Max is 23 degrees. The the Standard is 22. So okay. this should launch. Higher. Okay. Okay, well, let's, let's it's find got out more loft. Yeah, that right. I mean, science. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Physics. Um, those let's start with the max. Sure. Okay, let's do it. All right, Kevin, the QI10 Max now. Um, yes. I know you're very particular about how your golf clubs look, so tell me yep. what that one looks like at a dress. Um, and then, uh, well, we'll go through this with each club. But let's start with the the max, the biggest one, I assume. It's the biggest one. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little, it's a little thick. Yeah. Yeah. Um, most forgiving of the group designed to provide the most amount of confidence. Yeah. You know, a little more size. Uh, there's a reason why I don't want to look down at a, at a bladed iron when I got a 200 yard shot over water. Yeah. Use something, use something a little bit bigger. Sure. Um, this is uh, definitely the biggest of the group. Uh, I see a lot of club face, um, even though there's only one degree difference. I see a bunch more. It just face feels here. like it's more of a yeah. difference. Yeah. So, um, 
I'm expecting some some nice high shots. Yeah. We have the new Fujikura Speeder NX uh, torque control system shaft in here. So yeah. uh, what we've been been told here is that it's a very lightweight shaft. This one is 50 grams. This is a regular flex. Um, they've found that going with really lightweight flexi shafts with high torque has not necessarily benefited people in being able to square the club face up. Right. So not only is the head designed to be very forgiving, but the shaft is designed to be very forgiving as sure, well. Yeah. So yeah, that high uh, torque shaft for a lot of those players can be difficult to square up and more or less can create inaccurate absolutely uh, dispersions, yeah. whereas uh, maybe lower torque, but still light and flexible can create maybe more yeah. accurate and, and consistency. So I'm interested to see what, what this is going to do. Um, yeah. It will be a little bit different being in a 50 gram. Yeah, right, that's regular definitely flex, outside of but, your yeah. normal realm yeah. of, of yeah. swinging, but we'll, we'll try it anyway. Normally in the 80 gram and stiff flex, but that's okay. Uh, we can make this, we can definitely make this work. Oh boy. That, that might be a, uh, uh, yeah. That's, that that's, felt like, <laughs> A very light and flexible shaft. Yeah, that felt like the head was back here when I was when I was trying to make contact. <laughs> okay, all right. Give me a sec here. No, uh, that's, I've, uh, that's I've got a little bit of an adjustment to make. That felt very different. How's that one? Better? A little bit. Still felt pretty toey. Let's find out if it was. Not terrible though. Oh, I missed. All right. I'm not lying. No. <laughs> Kevin would never steer me or you wrong. No, that is correct. Wow, there's some pop. Okay. That's pretty good. Good height. Love that for a hybrid. Yeah, that's plenty high. Yeah. A little thin. Whew. A little thin, but still out there still pretty decent got the, the spin kicked up 1.43 on the smash yeah that's well, not great for a, for a hybrid that was ripped yep okay still only one getting three plenty smash, of height though. here yeah landing angle basically 50 degrees there so it feels really good on these yeah now that over 50 degrees on the landing angle. Now that I got the uh, kind of the way that the shaft works figured yep. out a little bit. Wow. I think you got it figured out. I think that's okay. very much what happened. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that was that first swing. I had not I had yeah. not made which, any practice which swings with this. What swing are you talking this. about? Which one could it yeah, be? Yeah, <laughs> I hadn't made any practice swings with this. I jumped right in and that first one just felt yeah. whew, way back here. So I did remove that one. Okay, um, cool. If you wanted to keep it in there, that's what it would look like. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's correct. But there's our dispersion, very okay. consistent, very high launching too. Um, we carried it just over 200 yards. Landing angle 49.1, I think is very good. Because a lot of times, yeah. if we're talking about this type of club, it's going to be used to hit at a, a, tar a target, a green. Oh, absolutely. Likely. Very rarely Absolutely. is this going to be a T club. Yeah, we want we want a lot of trajectory, and this this definitely yeah. provided that. 120 feet. Yeah. Um, what else do you see in these numbers here, Kevin? Um, pretty high spin. Could be a yeah. function of shaft. Could also be a function of me because I do tend to spin hybrids quite a bit. I don't spin irons all that much. I don't spin drivers all that much. I don't spin fairway woods all that much. But for some reason, the hybrid has always been something that I've spun a okay. lot. So. Uh, it could be me, it could be a combination of me and the club. So, um, smash factor was down. I thought some of those were pretty good. And, uh, you know, one, four, three, one, four, four, one, four, two. Well, let's keep those in mind too, these are, you're hitting a 23 numbers. degree club. Yeah. So that's only going to go up with lower law. It's true, but one, four, two seems low to me. Yeah. Yeah. Let's find out. Let's hit the other ones. Okay. Let's see if it gets any better. Sure. All right. So the standard QI-10 now, yeah. right? How does that one look compared to the Max that you just hit? This one looks good. It's more traditional size. The the, the Max is definitely a little bit oversized. Uh, interestingly enough, I see the 
carbon fiber on this much more clearly than on, really? on the Max. Okay. Like with the Max, it's, I, I had to double, do a double take to see if it was even, huh. if it even had carbon fiber. Uh, this one is much, much clearer. Um, I like the look of this. I don't see as much club face as I saw with the Max. Um, you know, definitely a little narrower body. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be. I also like how that Aventus TR Blue they have there color scheme it kind of goes down to the black yeah, it's kind of yeah, yeah matches up nicely it it does it's amazing what they can do with graphics all right so i'm expecting some better numbers here yeah yeah you were i'm i'm paying attention to that smash factor now after you yeah. made that comment i just thought that was weird right. and the ball speed's already up smash factor's already up yeah Distance is already up. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think we've. Uh, this is probably more up your up your. Uh, yeah. Up yep. Your alley than the max was. Yep. Could also have something to do with the shaft. Yep. Being different. Yep. The this is now again the Ventus TR Blue this time. Yep. Shaft feels much more stable. I mean, this is a. 70 gram stiff versus yeah. that 50 gram reg. Yeah. Caught that one a little heavy. Yeah, a little bit of yep. the big ball first. A little heavy. Yep. Still works. Yep. That might hang out to the right. Just a bit outside. Are you serious? Did you just throw? Did you just throw me a major league reference? Yeah. Did you know you were throwing a major league reference? I knew it was from the movie. I've, I've, I maybe have seen it once a long time ago. I'm more aware of the reference than the actual movie. Well, this is a good reference, yeah. right? I, I appreciate the reference. Of course, I know what you're talking about when you hardly ever know what the heck I'm talking about. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Let's do one more for giggles there it is that one is smoked that was the one i wanted smoked okay that's callaway <laughs> yeah that's a good point all right so i've got the best uh, five up there now. okay cool 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 um and realistically i think i have there's there's six up there with the max but Actually, I'll, I'll just keep this one up there. Okay. Oh, sure. Leave my mistakes in. No, it's okay. It's okay. 10. Yeah. Your thoughts on these numbers here? The smash factor did go back up as you anticipated it would. Yeah. Um, exact same club speed, so kudos to you on that. Well, thank you. Um, I work hard at the consistency. Yes. Yep. Um, launch angle came down, should one degree less loft. Yep. Um, distance went up. Smash factor's up. Height's good on both. Landing angle's good on both. Um, yeah, I I like this. I think it feels good, looks good, sounds good. I got no complaints. Okay. I yeah, I no mean, it's, I think it's one that a lot of people are going to be able to throw in. Yeah, and this is, lot. I mean, this is the one that's really built for the masses too. Um, yeah. You will not be disappointed with the performance of this golf club. I like it. I like yeah. it. So now let's get more of, a, I guess, a, a targeted or niche model here with the QI-10 Tour. Indeed. Okay, so what does the Tour look like? I know from, from just our initial discussion here at the yeah. desk, it looked very different than the other two. It does, it looks decidedly different. It looks very skinny. Um, it's got some glossy, needs a little bit of cleaning. Mm. Those pesky fingerprints. That would have been me, I was holding that at the beginning, so. Oh, yeah, okay, thanks, Drew. Uh, yeah, it looks good, I, I like it. it uh, you know, again, we got a players club that doesn't have the the icon on it, yeah. so it doesn't tell you that you you know where you're supposed to hit it. Okay. Yeah. You know, suppose we're supposed to figure these things out on our on our own. I don't know. Yeah, I suppose. Um, maybe it's just a, I guess a universally accepted thing that the maybe better players don't want that laminate there. I don't know. Or that, they can line I, it up better themselves. I was not offended by having it on on either yeah. of the other ones. You know, hit it here. Okay. Well, that's, <laughs> that's, that's not a bad idea. So <laughs> thanks for um, the advice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> thanks, TaylorMade. That's that's helpful. Um, yeah, this this looks good. Um, 
It's 19 and a half degrees, so it's a little stronger. Than yeah, we do have the three hybrid now. That's a good, so, yep. again, a good yep. reminder there. Uh, uh, another different shaft. We got Tensei Blue, uh, 75 stiff. Mm -hmm. So yep, Tensei AV Limited Blue Pretty similar to what we had to the in the the Ventus there. Yep. Um, yeah, let's see what we can we can get out of this. I'm hoping for 224 carry. 224. Okay. 224. I suppose yeah, with the uh, it's a three hybrid. Yes. Three and a half degrees lower in loft, so. That was a little skinny. It's a little shy of 224. Yeah, well, it didn't have much chance to fly because it didn't get in the air very well. That's uh, a bit lower than I would have wanted. Yep. That check out? Yeah, definitely. Oh, come on, turn oh. over. Look at that carry number. Oh, 223, back to back. Just gotta square it, that's all. This is definitely a more anti-draw yeah. type head. Yeah. So these little hangers that we're seeing, Makes definitely sense. a function of the golf club. Yep, yep, yep. Probably a little function of the human being swinging it too, but. Wow. Okay. Did that, was that one caught maybe a little fat or no? Yep. Okay. Just a touch. Two twenty-three what, again. What, what, what? All that ball speed and I couldn't get two twenty-four out of it. Come on now. Oh, that's got it. That's got it. Two twenty-four. <laughs> Rounding up. We're gonna round it up. We're gonna round it up to two twenty-four. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. All right, give me one more swing of this. I, I yeah, just... yeah, that's fair. <sighs> <laughs> that's three that are over two twenty-three. <laughs> But not quite, or square. four. That there might be four shots now that are two twenty-three yeah. between two twenty-three and two twenty-four. Yeah, I thought I thought squared up that would get there. Okay, that has to do it. That has to do it. Oh, more spin that time. Need another shot? Yeah, I have to hit this thing two twenty-four. Okay. okay, I have to. Oh, real that's, that's as hard as I can hit a golf ball. That better go 224. There, we go. there it is. Okay, fine. <laughs> All right, I feel a little bit better about myself now. Oh, I just registered another swing for you. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we huh. can remove that one, I think. Yeah, that's hurting my average. Okay. Okay. Let's look at the numbers here. So we've got uh, the three hybrid. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This first one was the one I believe you caught a little thin here. Yes. Um, we got a couple extra swings in there because you were trying to rip that uh, yeah. to. But leave that one in there. Leave that. Go ahead and leave that. So one of the things that, that we should talk about here is how consistent yes. these shots were. Yep, yeah, right despite here. a little bit of east to west, they are still very tight in terms of dispersion, and yeah. that's and actually that's what we're really looking for. I had to swing out my shoes to get that one. Right. So I'm I was take, just frustrated. I'm actually just because the point you're. I mean. Yeah. I don't know if you would swing that hard on the golf course. Oh, I would. And in, 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 if I needed if I needed another eight yards, I absolutely oh, okay. would swing right. that hard on the golf course. So I'll keep course, it up but... there. I didn't know if it was like, because well, we could do this and make that. No, that's really, fine. Really that's good, that's but... that's really representative of what things things were. That yeah. last one was okay. just me being, you know, you got to be kidding me. I got to be able to hit this thing 224, right? Yeah, well, so. let's go back through it quick because we had these carry. <laughs> so before we started. <laughs> Kevin calls that he's going to hit this 224. That's the number he wanted to hit. 223.4, 223.3, 219, 223.1, 223.7. <laughs> and then he's like, okay, I just got to do this. And yeah. he adds a, little, a few extra miles per yeah. hour to the swing, gets a 231 on that one. But really good stuff from these uh, QI-10 yeah. rescue clubs. I think yeah. they kind of did what we expected all of them to do, really. Yeah, they really the QI did. QI-10 Max is certainly the highest launching. It's going to spin the most. It's yep. going to be the most helpful for players that might struggle to get the ball off the ground with hybrids, which is not an uncommon thing. Yeah. Um, the, the, the standard QI-10, probably the most versatile in terms of the, the types of players that it will, will play for, obviously. Um, then that, that, that tour, it was a missile launcher. 
and yeah. this, this was yeah. hot I mean, ball speed. So. Stronger lofted, so we're going to see a little bit faster yeah. faster ball speeds anyway, but um, you know, it's designed to kind of right. bring things down a little bit. Um, yeah, all, all three felt really good, so mm -hmm. uh, I've got no complaints across the, the entire line. Yeah, clearly Taylor May did pretty solid work here with the QI-10 rest. Yeah, yeah. All right, Kevin. Okay. Taylor made QI yeah. 10 rescue clubs. Um, I think we learned a lot, but I think really good stuff across the board here. Um, yeah. I'm impressed by, you know, how consistent they all were at doing what they are supposed to do. Mm -hmm. uh, they delivered each of the characteristics that, you know, you that Taylor made basically told us would happen with each one. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, it's nice when we can take the manufacturers at their at their word. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That, which isn't always the case. Sometimes, no. And you know? that's uh, that's something that it's a story that really needs to be told because yeah. we're not seeing, you know, the years where, Oh, you know, you're going to hit this 14 yards further or, Oh, you're going to hit the 17 yards further. Those days are gone. Yeah. Right. We just can't, you're not going to see that anymore. Um, so when they're trying to find ways to make their products better and mm -hmm. they're using innovative new technologies and, yeah. and designs, you know, there is a story to tell. And when that actually plays out for us in, in the fitting days, you know, people do need to know that there is there is value to what, you know, what's being brought out. Right, exactly, know? exactly. So let's go through each model quick. Okay. Um, we'll start with the most forgiving, QI-10 okay. Max. Yep. After hitting that one, um, describe the player that's gonna be a good fit for uh, adding that one to the bag. So slower swing speeds will do very well with this because mm -hmm. um, it's got a little bit more loft. It's going to help get that ball up in the air. One of the biggest challenges we see with, with slower swing speeds is being able to get the ball up enough yeah. to be able to make it separate, right? When we're talking about adding a hybrid into into the mix, we're, we're taking an iron out. We want to make sure we've got that good separation between mm -hmm. that iron and that next club right. up. Um, so a little higher launching, a little higher spinning, a little larger profile for you know a little bit more confidence um there's a lot of people that are going to benefit from this from this yeah mix. oh definitely definitely yeah. um qi 10 standard model now okay how was that one um this this was great this is your this is your your every man's hybrid right mm -hmm. yeah, the size wise it's it's a little bit more compact than the max lofts are a little bit stronger um you know, you can put somebody that's got medium to high swing speed in this w without any trouble. I like the fact that the the carbon fiber on this, from an aesthetic standpoint, is a little bit more prominent. Looks really clean. Looks really good. Uh, numbers were were very solid with this as well. So anybody can play that one. And then lastly, QI10 Tour, very yep. different golf club and some of the you know, materials and this construction yeah. of it. So, what do you think about that one? So. Typically a little bit higher swing speeds, yeah. but also can go for somebody that doesn't like the look of a traditional hybrid. This does not really look like a traditional hybrid. It is much narrower. So it, it's, you know, kind of runs that line a little bit more toward the iron side of things yep. than the fairway wood side of things. Um, we got all the adjustability in here. So, yeah. you know, I can go up or down two degrees of, of loft. Um, we can we can flip it to an upright setting. I had a little tendency to hang this just a little bit. I might have benefit from actually having the the upright setting, change that lie angle, see if it doesn't help me square it up a little bit. Sure, yeah. sure, yeah. There's that's great. I mean, I, like I mentioned at the beginning, three hybrid models in one line is kind of rare. You don't see a lot of that, yeah. and with so many different kinds of players out there, it's yep. it's. I think it's good for TaylorMade to have three different options here um, for golfers to kind of choose from and and. Yeah, identify the one that's right for them. Totally so, agree. Um, great stuff. QI 10 yep. rescues. Go get fit today. Make sure you have the right rescue club in your bag to bridge that all important gap between the irons and then your three water, five, whatever you might have next in the bag. So, Kevin, great stuff. Pleasure. Thanks for hitting yep, all the shots and, and providing your insight for the golfers out there. Anytime.